Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be a little bit of a channel update and sort of question and discussion type thing. Just to, just to kind of figure out where things want to uh, be going for the channel as well as to update you guys on things and what's going to be going on. But first and foremost, I'm not in my normal recording area and unfortunately I'm pretty sure there's going to be a rather subpar audio quality to the form of this video as well as others because I'm currently house-sitting for my uncle. He is gone on a job assignment for like two and a half weeks, and so I have moved into his house so that nothing is, you know, has the potential to go awry in his absence for the two and a half weeks he's going to be gone, and him not know about it until he gets back, so I'm going to be living here. So, good thing is that I'm living in a different house with a different, you know, scenery, different surroundings, and I actually really like the area that this place is in because there's access to a lot of good food places and stuff that ultimately is just different from what I'm used to, but the downside is that I'm away from my apartment, I'm away from my normal recording area, I do not have my additional lighting rigs with me, all I was able to bring was my computer, my laptop, my webcam, my microphone, luckily I grabbed it on the way out, and I could find an excuse to go back to my apartment, but definitely not for at least another couple of days, um, so unfortunately... I have subpar light, I have subpar sound quality because I've currently like taken over his kitchen and dining room area for my computer and recording because it is the best place in the house for light because as you can see in the mirror behind me there's a chandelier in here and the mirror being there as well as the fact that this wallpaper is absolutely god awful looking but is a light color means that there's a good bit of light diffusion. There's a lot of diffusing of light happening in this area meaning that there's actually, you know, a good light level, whereas everywhere else in the house, it's like hardwood, brown-stained walls and stuff, because this house is really old, um, and ultimately, like, there's just not very good light sources anywhere else other than this room, so if I'm going to be filming, like, combo videos and discussion videos and stuff like that, I've got to be here, unfortunately, because I didn't bring my extra lighting rigs with me. Whoops. But essentially, there are going to be some changes happening on my channel coming up into the future, into the coming months, hopefully allowing me to grow the channel a lot more going into 2017. Basically, I want to diversify what the channel is putting up. Now, I made a post on my Facebook fan page about a day ago at this point asking, you know, all the people that were having access to that post, what do you want to see? Do you want to see more tabletop duels? Do you want to see more combos? Do you want to see more discussion? Like, what do you want to see from my as well as other YouTube channels because I really want to diversify what I'm doing as well as allow myself the highest potential chance to grow. Do you want to see more like meta oriented gameplay? Do you want to see more casual oriented gameplay? I just kind of want to test the waters and see what the feedback I can get from this question is and that's ultimately a question I would like answered in this video as well. Leave a comment down below with what you would like to see more of on my channel as well as possibly other YouTube channels, basically. Just what do you want to see more of in the yu tubing community is basically what I want to find the answer to because I would love to diversify my channel. I've been having a great time doing the combo tutorials that I've done over the past couple of days with Dragoonities of all decks because it's my favorite archetype that has ever existed in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's my favorite deck that I've ever played. Like That's the one deck that I brought with me to this house. I don't have any of my cards with me right now until I go back to my apartment and grab my bag pack it up with all my stuff and come here, but I have the Dragoonity deck and the Herald deck with me, because that just happened to be in the box with the Dragoonity deck, so I brought that so I could solitaire that, and like, so I'm very excited to be able to do combo tutorials on that deck and have people still be interested in it, and if you want to see more combo tutorials for like more casual decks, then I guess I could do something like that, because I would really like to delve deeper into that sort of stuff because I've been doing duels a lot for the past year plus and it has gotten my channel to where it is and I'm grateful for that and I'm definitely not going to stop doing that I may change the format of how I do it I may change the amount that I upload instead of doing at least one duel video a day every day of a week including weekends I may just dial that back to maybe three or four days out of a week and have different uploads going up on the same days as well as other days just having a combo video or a discussion video. I'm really curious as to what you guys would like to see because I really do want to diversify my channel. I definitely want to get more into doing more Deck Doctor videos. I have that email address that I set up and I haven't looked at it in a week or so, but I definitely want to go check that out, look at it, and start filing through Deck Doctors basically, like having just Deck Doctor upon Deck Doctor upon Deck Doctor, maybe just doing a deck doctor segment once a week because people seem to like the input that I give in terms of decks because I'm very comfortable 
with casual strategies as well as competitive strategies because I'm constantly playing on the YCS and national like circuit. I'm constantly trying to play as competitively as possible, even with casual oriented strategies. So ultimately there's a lot that could definitely go on for the channel's growth. And I really want to know what you guys, you know, want to see, but basically, yeah, I apologize because I'm pretty sure I can hear a reverb in my own ear from the, uh, from the amount of just echoing that's in this room. I'm basically sitting in an echo chamber, even though it's a rather big open space. This is the dining room area that I'm sitting in with a wall behind me. I thought that it would improve the echo, but apparently I was just wrong because it's open all the way through. There's the kitchen and there's a pony wall where the kitchen ends. And then there's a living room behind me. that's all open. It's all connected. This is literally like a, maybe like 15 by 60 or 70 foot long space all told of open airspace that has got tons of stuff in it that should be breaking down the audio like waves and like basically putting a dampener on the echoing but it just isn't so this is probably going to suck in terms of audio quality as well as whatever combo videos I do going forward are probably going to suck for the next couple of weeks in terms of audio quality as well because of the fact that I'm basically stuck recording in an echo chamber as far as what I can hear in my own ears but it's the only place that's got good light because like we've covered chandelier mirrors shitty wallpaper but light colored wallpaper this is like the only place in the house where there's actually light colored walls everything else like i said is stained hardwood walls because this house was built in like 1940s or 50s area like i think this house is incredibly old if i remember correctly but i'm only going to be here for the next two and a half weeks ish uh so ultimately that will eventually sort itself out in the fact of I will be back to my regular apartment with my regular recording area with my nice soft padded carpet, my you know white walls, my even lighting in the ceiling, my lighting rigs, as well as all of the additional things that I have in my room as far as models and little tiny things that basically break up the audio from having echo capabilities. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that there's definitely some more content that I want to produce and I want to know what you guys want to see more of and I definitely would like to hear your feedback in the comments down below as well. But anyway, last thing before I end this video that I want to talk about is that I am starting a monthly giveaway contest, a monthly giveaway gift essentially that is directly linked with the Patreon page that I have started. So if you want to go check that out and get a little bit more information on it, you can definitely do so. There's a link to my Patreon in the description of this video as well as towards the end of this video there will be a link somewhere on the screen itself that you could click as well if you want to stick it out and wait. But basically, this is a giveaway that is going to be happening at the end of every month and is going to be based off of a raffle ticket system. And you will be getting different raffle tickets if you back me on Patreon. Each of the reward tiers on my Patreon page tells you that you get a certain number of tickets towards this raffle. It will be completely random and the prizes will be varying each month based off the product that is released, the uh, amount that is uh, that is pledged to me via Patreon, so I might even have multiple giveaways depending on how big my Patreon page ends up getting, and then ultimately, um, like if there's not any like major release during that time frame, I might throw like the giveaway as like a certain high dollar card in the format or something like that. But basically, at the end of every month, I'm going to be doing a drawing, a giveaway raffle drawing based off of the people that have pledged to me on Patreon in certain reward tiers, and each reward tier has a different number of raffle tickets that you will receive based off the reward amount that you pledge. So definitely go to the Patreon page and check that out if you're interested in it. It's a nice little way for you to help support me as well as for me to give back to you guys because I love giving back to people that are helping me out and showing your support even by pledging something as little as a dollar while it doesn't get you a raffle ticket unfortunately does just show that you believe in my ability to keep making content and that you want to see me continue and to improve content going forward into the future. Maybe get a new streaming setup so I can stream regularly on a regular basis, stuff like that. It's definitely a massive like just incentive for me to want to gain more support because people want me to live stream, but unfortunately my computer is optimized for editing but not for streaming. So I can edit very well and do things like that, but I can't stream for shit because it's basically a potato when it comes to streaming because my graphics card isn't all there for it and my RAM allocation is not proper. So like I need to build a computer for streaming if I want to stream on a regular basis in good quality. So things like that are things that you would be investing towards if you went to the Patreon page. And like I said, anything 
as low as a dollar even you would have my gratitude because it just shows your support it shows that you believe in my ability to keep making content that you enjoy it shows me that you enjoy my content and stuff like that but to the people that have already pledged you have my deepest deepest gratitude you four people know who you are at the time of me making this video and you all have access to my discord server so like you get to talk to me on a regular basis whenever you want you can send me like questions or whatever and i basically will talk to you for as long as you want to and that is another one of the reward tiers if that's something you're interested in but other than that that's going to be it for this video let me know what you think in the comments down below about what this channel needs to do to move forward and other than that, like I've already said, the link to my Patreon will be on screen some, sometime around now at this point, as well as in the description if you want to go check that out, look more into it, and maybe consider in your uh, heart of hearts to pledge or donate something to help support me at growing in this venture because I love doing this sort of thing and I know that it's completely up to you guys as to why I'm here. Like, this couldn't have happened without you guys supporting me in the way that you have. So ultimately, you have my deepest thanks. And if you want to support me even further, you can do so, and it will continue to try. I will continue to try and give back to you in any way that I can going forward based off the contest giveaway, based off anything else that I might decide to just throw in randomly, all that sort of nonsense. But basically, that's going to be it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as I've already said. Like I've already said multiple times, Patreon link on screen in description. If you want to go check that out and look into it, then definitely feel free to do so. But other than that, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time as usual. And as always, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.